Hi everyone. Today we're going through Epicor's data management tool and how it can be used to update mass amounts of data in your Epicor ERP system. So the data management tool, or DMT as we call it, is used for large amounts of data as it can run through it very quickly and either add new records to your database or update existing. So it's often used during the initial implementation of the software to bring in those records such as customers, price lists, parts, etc. Today we're going to use it to update fields on already existing records. So let's take a look. So here is our data management tool homepage. Before we get into it though, let's take a look at those fields that we are looking to update in Epicor ERP. And today we are using 10.2.700. So here's our part master. And today we are going to be looking at updating on our site's detail tab, our inventory and purchasing fields. So for those of you that may not be as familiar with the database tables and the field names, a really great way of figuring that out is by using our field help. So I'm going to open that up here so we can take a look. I'm gonna pin it so that it stays for us. And then when we click on the fields that we are looking to update, we can go over here and it's going to show us our database field. So the first part is our table name. So in this case, it's part plant. And then it follows by our field name, minimum quantity. And as we click through the fields, we can see that all of them on this page within the part master all belong to that part plant database field. So this is important information for when we go into our DMT and create our template for importing. So let's move over there now. When you first open the data management tool, uh, you can either search for the table you're looking to import data by looking through the various categories. In this case, you can see inventory, here's our part. There are many tables related to the part, so it's often easier just to search for the table that we are looking for. So in this case, we would like our part plant table. So there's two portions to the screen. Our upper portion is going to show the data that we want to import into our Epicor ERP system. And then the bottom half is going to give us information about the actual import as it's occurring and once it's completed. So if there's any errors that occur, it's going to list them here for us. And then it's going to give us some information about how long it took and the number of records. So DMT can technically do three different uh, types of, of records. So it can delete existing records. It can add brand new records. So for instance, if you had a large number of new parts or customers that you wanted to add into Epicor without having somebody manually go through the screens and create them, you can use the add new function or you can just use the update. And that's what we're going to focus on today. So each DMT template has required fields. And these are fields that have to be filled in in order for the database to properly either update or create a record. So by clicking on the required, it's going to tell us what those fields are, and they're be going to become the columns in our CSV file that we use. So for the part plant table, we require the company name, the part number, and the plant ID. We can then go down and click the template builder button. And this is how we're going to create a template for those records that we want to have updated. So we can see here that our mandatory fields are already selected for us. And then we're going to go through the list and select the others that we want to have updated. So as we saw on the part master, we want our minimum quantity, our maximum quantity, our safety quantity, our min order quantity, and our lead time. And that's all that we're really interested in today. So then I'm going to hit the create template button. And you can see here that it's going to save it as a CSV. So now I already have one saved, so I'm not going to go through with that, but let me pull that up. And you can see what it's done here is that it has taken those column names and has listed them at the top of our CSV file in the order really that they're listed here. So what we can now do is populate the CSV file 
with the record information that we want to have updated. The easiest way to do this is often to create a query in Epicor ERP, and I've taken some time ahead of time to do that. We won't be walking through that today. But you can see here in our query, I made sure that the fields that we needed for our template were the ones that I included in the query. So you can see we've got our company, our plant, our part number, and then those additional fields that we're looking to update. So for today's purposes, I'm only going to do a couple. So let's just take these top ones here. I'm going to copy and paste them into the CSV file. Now, with this query, if we wanted to do all of these records, we could just change our column titles to match what our template needs to be and then save this as a CSV and use that. But because we're only using a few of them, I'm just going to copy them into our CSV file that we have. So let's just do a quick check, make sure our, our company, company name is accurate, our plant name is as well, our part numbers are there, and then we're going to change these data fields so that we can see the change in Epicor once we run the DMT. So in this case, let's say we actually want a minimum of 50 on hand and no more than 100 at any given time. We won't change our safety stock for this particular part, but we do know that we have to have, order a minimum of 10 at a time. And our lead time, we've just been notified, has gone up to five days. So this part now, 1,000, well actually we figure we actually need 2,000 on hand, but we don't want any more than 10,000 at any given time. We do want to have a safety quantity on here and we'll mark it as 500. And our minimum order on this one is 250. And our lead time, let's change that to 10 days just so we can see a change there. And again, we'll just add some different numbers on this part record as well. Maybe we don't care for a maximum or a safety quantity, but we do know that we need to order 150 at a time and our lead time can stay as three days. So I'm going to save that CSV file and then let's go back to our DMT. We can close that template builder and then by clicking this part plant source button, we're going to find that CSV file and bring it in. And you can see now that this is the information that we updated. By clicking the validate button, it's just going to do a quick check to ensure that our column titles are all proper field names. So we'll hit OK. And then again, check just to make sure we only have the update box clicked. And now we're going to process. As you can see, when the import's completed, it's going to give us a notification. And then here's the information about the import itself. So with only three records, it did not take very long. So here's our start and our end time, and there were no errors. So let's take a look in ERP 10 to see and just verify that these records have been updated. So here's our first part. Let's just do a refresh. If we go to our Sites tab, and we'll pull up our CSV file so we can take a look at it. Part, same time. So you can see our minimum quantity has been changed to 50 and our max has been updated as has our minimum order quantity and our lead time. And if we take a look at our next part, we can see that those fields have been updated as well. And with that, that is all there is to the DMT. It is a very functional tool and great for updating those mass amounts of data. Thanks for joining us today.